Welcome everyone, special welcome back to you subscribers. Thanks for checking in. You new viewers, you should become subscribers too because you get to see beautiful children like these guys, but also because you get great recipes. Today, we're doing a kind of cool twist on the old slow cooker meatball. We're gonna do ground chicken and we're going to make it a teriyaki meatball in the slow cooker. So, to get started, I've got panko breadcrumbs and it is eight ounces, that's these guys. I've got some black pepper, one teaspoon, some kosher salt, one teaspoon, one egg, two tablespoons of garlic, minced, and this is two pounds of ground chicken. What do you think of that, Alita? Smells it look? good. It smells good. Looks awesome. Looks awesome. Okay. Well, I'm going to get my hands dirty so that you guys don't have to worry about that part. But you guys are going to start making the sauce for me. Alita, if you would, in that slow cooker over there, while I'm mixing this up, there is one third cup of water already in the slow cooker. Yeah, I see it. Okay. Mm -hmm. See that can of pineapple? It's a 20 ounce can of pineapple chunks right there yeah. in the syrup. Can you grab that and dump that into... The slow cooker? What am I gonna do? You're gonna help with the barbecue sauce and the teriyaki sauce. So Leah's gonna open up that after she gets all the pineapple out. Did you get it all out? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now you wanna open up that teriyaki bottle. We're using uh, low sodium. Oh. And it is, I wanna say it's 18, no, it's 10 ounces. It's fluid ounces. 10 fluid ounces straight in, the whole thing. <laughs> Boy, it's amazing how quickly he pours once you give him the green, green light. It's all gone. It's all gone. All right, next we've got some Sweet Baby Ray's uh, honey barbecue sauce. But you use whatever kind of barbecue sauce you want. It's an 18-ounce bottle. Aaliyah's going to go ahead and open that up. All right, yep, go ahead and you're going to have to squeeze. So you guys can take turns squeezing that in until that bottle is empty into the slow cooker. Yep. Okay. After this, BJ, you can squeeze Again, that's an 18 ounce, fluid ounce bottle of barbecue sauce. You're welcome to use homemade barbecue it's sauce or whatever brand you like. All right, you can see that these are about, that's a pretty decent sized golf ball, maybe a little bit bigger than a golf ball. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna roll these and just set them here and then we'll uh, combine everything and get them into the slow cooker. So we'll be back once I get these all rolled. 25 meatballs later. And we are ready to do one more thing before we actually go to the slow cooker. I think I may have skipped this. Uh, this is a skillet, uh, medium, and it's not even a full tablespoon. I'm going to cook these in this already heated pan just to get some brown on them. That's all I want to do is get a little bit of crunch to them so they're not all soggy sitting in that uh, slow cooker because the slow cooker is going to keep them moist. Uh, I like a little crunch on my meatballs, so um, three minutes maybe for a side, so rolling them around after three minutes until they get a nice brown on them, and then we'll take them and put them on there, and we'll be back. Well, you can see that uh, thanks to my lovely sous chef slash children, um, the sauce is ready to go. So I've mixed that up. I'll just let that sit there. And then over here, you can see that I've browned up the meatballs just a little bit. Um, this is really just to, again, give them a little bit of crisp, but it also helps to keep them together. And we're going to cook these on high for two hours in this lovely sauce that we've got. And then we will be ready to serve them up. So, once I get all 25 of them in there, we'll see you in two hours. And we're back. It's time to check on our teriyaki chicken meatballs. Let's see how they look. Like we're doing pretty good. I'm just gonna give this a little mix here to see. Yeah, I think they're good. It's been just shy of two hours. You are welcome to let this cook longer. It's not gonna hurt anything. Uh, it's just gonna get that flavor more intensely into the meatball. So I'm gonna take, uh, I think three is a good serving. I've got a little ball of rice here, just regular cooked rice. You can use brown rice or 
a wild rice perhaps. And then I'm going to try to get a couple pieces of the pineapple. And we'll just drizzle that right over the rice. And there you go. Easy as can be. Chicken teriyaki meatballs in a slow cooker. Uh, this would be great for a tailgate without the rice and maybe put some toothpicks on them and just let everybody have at them. I, I might even double uh, the recipe if you're doing a, a big tailgate. Otherwise, you know the drill. Give this a try. Tell me if you make any changes, substitutions, whatever, and how it turns out for you. Otherwise, subscribe, share, and like. Comments below. Check back for the next video and take care.